In this video, I'm going to show students how to go in and find feedback and rubrics and view their assignments in Blackboard and their grades. So in um, the course menu, there should be a link in there for my grade. So you're going to click on that. Okay. Now, there are different ways you can view my grades. Um, you can just look at the ones that are actually graded. You can look at up and coming if they have due dates on them. Okay, you can also just see the ones that you have submitted. Okay, I usually leave it to all, but you could go in and you know change your view. Okay, now in this one, this is a, a weighted um, a grade center, so it has a percentage for it. You might have a total number of points um, if your instructor is just using um, uh, a total number of points added together to calculate your final grade. So that first column might be different um, in your view. Okay, so in this one, I'm going to just show um, which ones are graded on mine. Okay, um, actually, no, let me go back to all for a second. You will see some things that actually have like a blue dot on them. Um, this will happen if you start a test and you haven't completed it, or if you've made one post to a discussion and it requires more than one post. So this lets you know you're, you've started an assignment but you haven't finished it, okay? If you see a um, yellow dot in that same location, that means it's been submitted but needs to be graded by the instructor, okay? Now, also going down the left-hand side, you might see some um, assignments that will have view rubric underneath them. And if they're set up to view before you start the assignments, you can actually come into here, click on view rubric, and you can see how you are going to be graded. Okay, it's always a good idea to check this and see if you have anything that you can view before you actually start an assignment. Okay, now this assignment here has not been started, so there's nothing showing up on the side here. This assignment has been submitted and graded. Now, if the title is blue, that means it's a link. So if I click on that title, you can see what you've submitted. You can see the feedback the instructor provided. You can see the grade. And if there is a rubric, you would have a link to view the rubric. This one does not have one. And you can also see if your instructor did inline grading where they actually posted comments and marked up on the page itself of what you submitted. So in this one here, there is a, um, a comment on this. So if I click on comment, I can actually see, let me expand this. So I can click on that comment and I can see the comment off to the side here. Um, let me go back down again. Okay, okay, um, here farther down, they've marked it up, circled some stuff, um, it says to take out the underline, and then if you scroll farther down, there's another comment there, and I could click on the comment to view it. Um, I had to go in and expand my pane to be able to view that. So um, that's how you can go in and view any markups on a document, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK to go back to my grades. Um, if you want to see what feedback the instructor gave you, you can do it through here as well, and you'll see a little blue balloon. You can click on that to view just the um, feedback, okay? If you've taken a test and they're allowing you to see the answers that you got correctly or incorrectly, you'll see that this test is blue, so it's a link. So if I click on test and I can see my grade over here, if I click on the grade, now it's blue, so it's a link. I can actually go through the questions and see which ones, what I actually marked and what the correct answer was. Okay, so I can see this one I did in, incorrectly. So that's another option. Okay, so I'm just gonna okay out. All right, so anything that you see that's in blue, that means it's a link, okay? If you see a blue balloon in front of it, that means that's feedback and you can click on the feedback if the instructor tells you that they've marked up your pages, you can go into the actual assignment and you can look at what you submitted and what they've marked up on the pages. Okay, and you can see the grade and the feedback from within there. And then okay that. 
And if you see a blue dot, that means you've started something but haven't finished it. If you see a yellow dot, that means that you've submitted it and it's just waiting for grading. Okay, so it's very important to check my grades often as you're going through your courses.